All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay. As you can see, I got my co pilots with me. Today, we're watching The Godfather 2. I'm really excited to get into this movie. I truly enjoy Godfather 1. I mean, as you can see, I bought me a poster. It was very surprising how much I liked that movie. I'm looking forward to getting into this one because I know we've seen Vito's gone. Michael's now fully in charge. I'm assuming it's, it's been some years since he's been in charge. It's not just picking up where the last one left off. I know Robert De Niro is in this one. So, and he's supposed to be playing a young Vito. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Other than that, I really don't know what to expect. I kind of got like an idea of like basically what I think is going to happen. But The Godfather was completely different than what I expected from the start anyway. So I could be wrong with what I'm thinking going into this. Either way, I'm here for it because I can't wait to see what Michael's doing. Before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like and subscribe for me. Don't forget that bell notification. That way you reminded all the new stuff that we're dropping. Down in the description is a link to our Patreon. Um, over there, we got our, um, all my full-length YouTube videos. I got exclusive TV shows and exclusive uh, movies over there as well that's not been to YouTube, but may not ever see YouTube. Over there on the Patreon as well, we also have the polls. If you want to have a say something on what I watch on Fridays, they're over there. So just click that link and hit that way. With that being said, I'd like to thank all our VIP patrons. I'd like to thank Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, their beautiful dog, Missy, Brandon, Big Al, Robin, Jonathan Patrick, and Simon X. Thank y'all for being part of the VIP family. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the Patreon family and the regular family. Without y'all, we wouldn't even have a channel. I'm looking forward to getting into this movie. I see y'all on the side. Let's get it. I'm telling you, where I just watched Heat and I come back to watch this, the word Al Pacino so young, it's weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was nine years old. Oh, so Vito was a boss from the day, it was like nine. He was in charge of the family since nine. That's crazy. I wonder if he had that mentality. They shooting up a funeral? Oh, sh Hey, they killed my early, ain't they? Hey, can we... Now, that must be his brother. My man is over here sipping wine. Ma ammazzasti a me marito. Picchi non si posi calari. E pure un figlio mio ranni, Paolo. Picchi hai via giurato vinnita. Ha vi solo novanni ed è fissa. I'm calm, done with it. Hey, he gonna kill a nine year old. That's a man, hey. Cold blood killer. Quando è grande, se ne viene per fare vinnita. Che piacere, Vinciccio. So Vito never spoke. No. Vito, Tini! Vito, Vito! 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 And they really out here hunting for a nine-year-old. I mean, I guess I get it, because if he wasn't going to kill you over his daddy, he probably definitely going to kill you over his mama. Vito, watch the Biamo Bittia. Non this come back. Yes, Hey, them some good people. I mean, she should have went ahead and killed him, though. Like, she knew she was going to die anyway. She might as well hit him with the little high. I can't believe she called Vito dumb with it.
I remember when we, like, when I was little, we used to go to New York all the time to go visit my family during the summer. I remember one time I told my mom, I said, Mama, we must be lost. She said, why? I said, because I ain't never seen the Statue of Liberty this close. Hey, we was super lost. Nurse. I'm going to ask this question, and I know y'all going to act like I'm, I should know this. What are they doing? Why they draw an X on that man's um, jacket like that? That's a lot of people. That's like going to the DMV. Vito Andolini from Corleone. Corleone. Vito Corleone. Okay. Over there. Uh, that's how he got the name Vito, Cor Vito Corleone. Tell him he has smallpox quarantine three months. Damn. So he in America by himself and got smallpox. Hey, they are getting it. Mama! Ooh, mama! It's so weird, because all I see is Adrian. Where's Michael? I gotta talk to him and get a few things straight, and I can't wait online. You go see your children first, and then you worry about waiting online to see your brother, like everybody else. So she don't see her kids? Senator Pat Geary of the state of Nevada. <laughs> and there's Mrs. Geary. And they got the senator there. Man, look at that water. I mean, it's just funny they got all this stuff here at a mob. <laughs> it was a, at a mob function. <laughs> like, <laughs> what if some gangsters just showed up and start shooting up the place? <laughs> they got a boys' choir there. That's my lawyer, Tom Hagen. Senator Deering. Old Tom back. I was under the impression that you and I would talk alone. I trust these men with my life, Senator. Carly and family have done very well here in Nevada. Now, my sources tell me you plan to make a move against the Tropicana. They tell me that within a week, you're going to move Klingman out. So how he fought it out stuff? Let's cut out the bullshit. I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. You're going to have a license. Price is $250,000, plus a monthly payment of 5% of the gross. Of all four hotels, Oh, he trying to stick him up. Now, the price for the license is less than $20,000. Now, why would I ever consider paying more than that? Because I intend to squeeze you. I don't like your kind of people. I don't like to see you come out to this clean country in your oily hair. Hey, he talked to the wrong one, ain't he? I despise your masquerade, the dishonest way you pose yourself, yourself and your whole fucking family. Hey. He doing the same. He got some balls talking to him like that too. You'll pay me because it's in your interest to pay me. But I want your answer in the money by noon tomorrow. You can have my answer now if you like. My offer is this: nothing, not even the fee for the gaming license, which I would appreciate if you would put up personally. Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm excited. Like, it, why, if you know about this man, why would you go to, why would you go to where he's at, if, you know what I'm saying, and say dumb Like, talk about I'm going to squeeze you. Why would you try that? Is that some people got to play games? <laughs> I guess some people just got to be stupid. Out of 30 professional musicians, there isn't one Italian in the group here. I mean, he's doing too much. That's hilarious. I'll see my sister alone. It concerns me too. How are you, honey? You met Merle. He was with me in Vegas. I saw him with him. We're going to Europe next week. I'd like to book passage on the Queen. So what do you come to me for? Why don't you go to a travel agent? We're getting married first. Oh, here. Yeah. The ink on your divorce isn't dry yet, and you're getting married? You see your children on weekends? 
You know, your oldest boy, Victor, was picked up in Reno for some theft you don't even know about? Michael! You fly around the world with men who don't care for you. You're not my father! And what do you come to me for? Oh, I need money. Well, that kind of makes him something like your daddy. I mean, because if your man ain't taking care of you, you got to go to your brother. Your brother's now responsible for you. You can live here on the estate with your kids. You won't be deprived of anything. You can have everything you want. I don't know this Merle. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he lives on. Well, he talking about like he ain't there. Well, why don't you tell him marriage is out of the question and you don't want to see him anymore? He'll understand, believe me. If you don't listen to me, marry this man. You'll disappoint me. Well, how you not gonna steal kids? Connie ain't. I like her as Adrian better. No, Miguel, I'm excused. You don't just share respect. You don't do the copy manjari. She's a. Damn. That man, he is so sloppy. Frankie, they feel cheated. Mike. I'm on it, I mean, no manja car, no manja Las Vegas, and no manja in Miami. Conheim and Roth. Why people keep crying him? He killed like 13 people in five minutes at the end of the last movie. I want to earn my family without you on my back. And I want those Lozano brothers dead. No. Mort. What'd he say? He looked like he took a fist in the head. Now I have business with Hyman Roth. I don't want it disturbed. Then you give your loyalty to a Jew before your own blood. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father respected Hyman Roth, but your father never trusted Hyman Roth. I do my scusato. He is on your stand. Nah, bro. You big drunk. I'm sorry about all the people today. Bad timing. I, I mean, I really do like how this reflects the first movie. It's like a mirror of it. In five years, the Corleone family will be completely legitimate. That was seven years ago. Girl, shut up. I'm trying, darling. You should just be happy old girl got killed, because she didn't get killed. You wouldn't even be in this picture. My man came back for a year and a half, didn't even tell you. He got bored one day, showed up to school. But I guess I'll be shot. <laughs> I think that's another thing that throws me off about where this is Al Pacino, where he talks so calm all the time. Because, you know, Al Pacino normally yelling at people, talking loud. Oh, that was very unexpected. These ain't shit. I mean, she pregnant and it ain't sh it's like, what the? <laughs> like, so. <laughs> it had to be somebody there because the drinks was open. Keep them alive. We'll try. Rocco, alive! And that's the kino I know. And I, I don't think he got enough people to do it. He got a small little army. Mikey, all right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot I can't tell you, though. Yeah, I know that's upset you in the past. Yeah. yeah so it's because I admire you and I love you that I kept things secret from you. That's why at this moment you're the only one I can completely trust. I always wanted to be thought of as a brother by you, Mikey, real brother. You're gonna take over. You're gonna be the down. What the f? The one thing I learned from Pop was to try to think as people around you think. Now, on that basis, anything's possible. Right, bitch! Right out my window! I wanna get out of here! Hey, she on my nerves already. So, this motherfucking movie started off not playing. Get rid of the bodies. Where's Mike? Rocco. 
So he said he's about to, he gave Tom, he's going to tell, he didn't, I'm stuttering. <laughs> he said he told Tom, well, he told Tom he could be the nun. And then look over the family and everything for years to come. And then because he's leaving there. So is he not coming back? Will you take me? No, I can't. Why do you have to go? Just have to do business. I could help you. Hey, that's sweet. I wonder if he understands that his dad is the baddest thing walking. Hey. <laughs> See the neuro that young me up for a second. Oh, he is young, young. Oh, oh. Hey, I apologize real quick. Hey, Vito, this straight watcher. I mean, how are you just going to tell somebody how to for you? I'm going to get it next week. Oh, I didn't know what I thought it was, but I didn't think it was guns. I thought it was maybe money or something. Me, Fenucci. Eh, the least of the born with Hey, Giovaganciano. Yeah, he said he won't double. I mean, I guess he ain't got a choice, but I won't want him there. So Vito really ain't start out like that, dude. He goes about the mother named Fanucci. I want on the booty. E così a ciao padre, tu vai con me. Così a stato sempre buono con me, da quando ero bicerigio. E io la ringrazio. E io come scordo. I mean, he crying because he had to let him go. Porti chi è stato figlio. Hey, that was nice of him. I ringrazio lo stesso, ma non posso accettare. E per tua famiglia. Why would he take it? He's trying to do right by you. Oh, Vito different. Oh, Clemenza. I like the music in both of these movies. Sto figlio di puttana, non c'è in casa. Minchia, ma cacchiava la sala. Non creo casa raggia. Oh, no, he won't buy you breaking in at all. I'm sitting here thinking they're going somewhere to where they actually know. He, like, like he know a dude. You know what I'm saying? The cell runs his <laughs> My man just broke into a house. And that is a nice rug. The cops. And he was really going to shoot him. Now, we don't know they stole that rug. Man, this music got me, like... <laughs> it's got me, like, on edge. Like, I, like I want to know what's going to happen so bad. Hyman's in there. I was just making some lunch. Would you like a tuna sandwich? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, that's where he's at. I heard you had some trouble. Hey, news travel fast, don't it? We will do it together in the next few months. Not even your father would dream that such a thing could be possible. And Pantangeli is a dead man. You don't object? These small potatoes. Okay, Suchi. Ci vieni con Leo. Cu 
Oh. Check what cause I go ma. There's a lot wrong. You heard what happened in my home? Mike, I almost died myself. It was all so relieved. In my home! Oh. In my bedroom where my wife sleeps! Where my children come and play with their toys. Yeah, Mr. Al Pacino, I know. It was Hyman Roth that tried to have me killed. I know what was in. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I heard that before. I want him completely relaxed and confident in our friendship. Then I'll be able to find out who the traitor in my family was. I might be having plans. You probably shouldn't try to outthink him. I'm not going to say it's going to be some more bloodshed. So, I'm looking for it. Michael Cooper, he says hello. Hey, just choke him off. Are you open or closed? Hey, I just come in to clean up a little, you know? Is that something on the floor? Come on, no, no, not here, not here. Anthony! You open your fucking mouth, fool you! And that is out there just shooting. So dude was twitching. Is he dead? Because he was like this in the little thing. It's in the back. Come on, girls. Take a hike, huh? I thought I could help you, Senator. Oh, shit. When I woke up, I was in the floor. And I don't know how it happened. Uh, I, I think so. Oh! Game. What kind of game was they playing? Yes? Her face just makes me mad. Whose orders are these? Mr. Hagen's, man. All right, well, I'm just going to have to speak to Mr. Hagen. Why can't she just listen? Am I a prisoner? Is that it? Not the way we look at it, Kay. All right. Come on, kids. We're going back to the house. What? Shut up and be safe. You know here, mobster. Just mob happening. Like, it's crazy how this movie got me sucked in. I just looked at the time. I'm like an hour and 20 minutes in. I feel like I've been here like 15 minutes. Dentro de 15 or 20 minutes. The hell? He said that they're making an arrest. And in a few minutes, he let us through. Johnny. And the end. Piano, viva, Fidel! That's a hell of a nothing. And we can thank our friends in the Cuban government, who just put up half of the cash with the Teamsters on a dollar-for-dollar dollar basis, has relaxed restrictions on imports. You all know Michael Corleone. I wouldn't eat none of that cake till he ate it. I wouldn't want it to get around that you held back the money because you had second thoughts about the rebels. Uh, sit down. And my man just be lounging for real. Michael? We're bigger than U.S. Steel. <laughs> Can you imagine that, huh? Two million dollars in the seat next to me in that plane? Mikey, what the hell's going on, anyway? The family's making an investment in Havana. This is a little gift for the... I wish somebody give me a gift like that. Two million dollars. Anybody I know in Havana? I don't know. Hyman Roth? Johnny Ola? No. no. I never met them. I was like, you don't know Johnny? Mikey, I, I was mad at you. Why didn't we spend time like this before? Well, when was he mad at him? Senator Geary is flying in from Washington tomorrow night with some people, some government people. I want you to show him a good time in the back. I mean, the way he look at people, man, it's just so intense. I can just be staring through them, like reading they so. We're all invited to the presidential palace for reception, bringing the new year. Before I reach my hotel, I'll be assassinated. It was Roth that tried to kill me in my home. It was Roth all along. So, that's the second person he didn't tell about Hyman Roth. The other person he told got choked out. Still don't know if he's dead, because like I said, he was twitching like this and shit. I get four million just to be able to take a piss without it hurting.
Mm. Who had Frank Pantangeli killed? The Rosado brothers. Have two million in a bag in your room. If the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. If it isn't, I'll know I don't. I mean, so what Michael gonna do? You don't know my brother Fredo, do you, Johnny? We never met. Johnny Ola. Hey, his brother is so horrible, huh? Gentlemen, to a night in Havana. Happy New Year. I'm glad Michael noticed that, but I shouldn't be surprised. Because he'd be on. Everybody stands. Johnny Ola told me about this place. He brought me here. I didn't believe it, but seeing is believing, huh? Uh oh. My man look hurt. Thanks for playing. A coat hanger. I never would have thought of that. Of all the things he could have used to kill somebody, he grabbed he grabbed a coat hanger. He invented ways to kill people. Fredo. Where you going? I'm gonna get me a real drink, cause I can. Fredo, bitch. And they right there. Oh, Michael, you in trouble, bro. There's a plane waiting for us to take us to Miami in an hour. Don't make a big thing about it. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. That would be terrifying. So old dude didn't get a kill. Kill old boy. Um, Hyman. So, and they know that dude was with Michael the whole time. Renuncio para evitar más derramamiento de sangre. Deseándoles a todos muy buena suerte. Shut the f*** up. You might as well go kill yourself. Fredo! Come on. Roth is dead. Fredo! Fredo! You're still my brother! Fredo! Roth is not dead, bro. So old boy didn't kill him, so I don't even know what's going to happen with that. What about my boy? Did you get him something for Christmas? I took care of it. And my man been gone for a minute, ain't he? Well, there was something else. Come on. What? Come on, what? Kay had a miscarriage. She lost the baby. Oh. Oh, that sucks, dude. Was it a boy? Mikey, after three and a half months. Now, can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Was it a boy? They kind of look alike. Like the profile right there, like the little jawline. Oi, Pizzotto, non c'è te lo dice che tu lo dici tu che stai tranquillo. Eh, tu lo dici tu e non la dici mai con l'antica del rispetto per Io ve lo domando solo rocendo per la protezione che mi rogni. E lo scordo pure la malattia. E per chi la mo' pagare? È meglio per tutti gli altri. Non ne preoccupare. We don't like that. We ain't paying the I'm telling you, I don't know what Vito gonna do, but I'm, hey, I'm here for it. Ma tu sei sicuro che hai tu riesci di sì? I'm making all for you don't refuse. Shut the f*** up. Hey, we really are witnessing the birth of a dynasty right now. Okay, so there's an orange. So then this dude only got one suit because he's had his white on this whole move. We're fine. Oh! Yeah. oh, he shot him in the fing cheek. And he's still standing. Okay, that's what I thought video was going. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, Fido is a little. It makes sense to Daryl play him. It makes sense. But Vito did disappoint. Went home straight to his babies. Mike. That's f***ing beautiful. I do like the back and forth between Michael's journey and Vito's journey. I do like that, though. You're an employee of the Genco Olive Oil Company? That's right. But in actuality, you remember the Corleone crime organization. We called it the family. What was your position? Oh. Well, when the boss says push a button on a guy, I push a button. See, son? Why, why the dude next to him look like he just I ain't telling him to say that? And the, uh, the head of your family is uh, Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone, right. What the f***? Uh, was there always a buffer involved? The family had a lot of buffers. <laughs> I mean, I know Michael got plans, but I don't know his plans, so it's not knowing his plans got me stressed. I guess it's how Tom felt when he went telling him. You feel like you can lose your family because you married that bitch. Can't stand K. If old girl had died in the first one, you may have to stress someone out of this. No, no, it may be a shame. It's 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 a shame. I vicini si lungoliarono con i fagioni di casa di da bucani. Mi dissero che hanno mandato a picchiare i carabinieri e mandato a chitare da fuori. Io voglio che vuoi sia padre qui, mi dici che io mi voglio stare qua. Mi dico quando ho parlato di questo bambino con un dog. Mi chiamo Vito Corleone. E non è che la mia moglie è il signor Comune. Mi ha una schiena, una è venuta, una è venuta, nessuno sto vicinando. Già la fettai a casa. È un'altra famiglia. Eh, ma voi sei siciliano? No, no, sono calabrese io. Io vado a mano, stufa voi, tu un paesano in auto. Eh. E eh, tu con questo sì, che stai andando a calma, non ordina a mia mano di comando. Oh, poi stai attento a come parlo con me, hai capito? Ma se non è qualcuno che ho un tocco, non sai quando ti manda a sbagliare. Oh, mi non ho chi talking to! Please try. E spiace, amici, tu non stai vicinando che sono io io. Io ti tu sanno dire come io sa, c'ho fatto lì. Guarda che sto qua. The character, the monkey get you business. Man, shut the fuck up. Do what he says. He acts you nicely. What you wanna do, man? Roberto, sai che ti cava casa di soci. Mi devo mandare al tuo quartiere per sapere. Scusate, ma spero che non vi venga a sconcecare, Don Vito. Ma Don Vito, ne ho. Come ne capiamo male, ma non come ne capiamo male. La signora Colombo può testare in tagga. Io vorrei portare i soldi che mi arrasto. Mi torno al retro. Eh, non so fare! Perché con Don Vito i soldi non servono. Eh, hey, that's what you say. Ma posso accettare? My man went from I'll kick your ass in the street to hey, bro, here's all your money back. May I sit? Hey, he lowered the rent. Anzi, ce l'avevo. Cinque scuole ce l'avevo, va bene? Dece ce ne l'avevo, Don Vito. Dece. Hey, he's so nervous. He's, he's, he's robbing himself. Hey, but that's what's up, though. My man went for real. Went from, I'll kick your ass in the street, to, I'm sorry, here's your money, may I sit down. That's amazing. Are you the son of Vito Corleone? Yes, I am. Senator, my client would like for me to state before this committee. I mean, the mic suck. The mother echoing. I'm going to allow Mr. Curley on a really statement. I'll put it in the record. I consider it a great dishonor to me personally to have to deny that I am a criminal. 
I have not taken refuge behind the Fifth Amendment, though it is my right to do so. I challenge this committee to produce any witness or evidence against me. Hey, so do we get to see old boy who snitched on him get killed? Because that would be lovely. The committee will produce a witness who will corroborate the charges which were made against you today. Corleone, you may very well be subject to indictment for perjury. Ten to one shot, he would take the fifth, and I lose. You sound like my bookie. Well, he ain't dead. Well, just get a good night's sleep. Got a big day tomorrow. Got you a new suit, a new shirt, a new tie. Damn shame what happened to you. You should have just died the first time. And you're going to look respectable for 50 million of your fellow Americans. My life, my, my, my life won't be worth a nickel after tomorrow. Yeah, bro. You should have died the first time. Act like you was dead or something. Frankie went to make a deal with the Rosado brothers, and they uh, tried to kill him. Our people with the New York detective said he was half dead, scared stiff, and talking out loud that you turned on him. It's on an army base, 24-hour guards. You've opened yourself to five counts of perjury. What about Fredo? What does he know? I forgot about Fredo's bitch ass. Where's that bitch at? I'm gonna talk to Fredo. Fredo a whole bitch. If I was him, I'll make Fredo take the blame for everything. It's better than killing him. I haven't got a lot to say, Mike. We have time. I didn't know all that much. I think you can tell me now. Pick up potentially, that's all I can tell you. Are you late on that? I didn't know it was going to be a hit, Mike. I swear to God, I didn't know it was going to be a hit. Johnny Ola bumped into me in Beverly Hills. He said that you... And and Roth were in on a, a big deal together. I'm listening to Fredo say some dumb because he's a bitch. He said there was something in it for me on my own. I've always taking care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? You're my kid brother and you take care of me? I mean, if you want a bitch, maybe you can take care of yourself. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. Because you a bitch. You was a bitch. You don't deserve shit. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. I'm smart and I want respect. If you were smart, you wouldn't have done this shit. You're a fucking idiot. You seen this motherfucker kill 37 people in two minutes? He put a whole hit out while he was at church. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. When you see our mother, I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. You understand? Listen, he's better than me. Because I'll straight be like, Fredo, you better take this rap for this mafia. Shit. I don't know how we're going to spend that, but you better take this rap. If we can't get you to take a rap, I'm killing you. And man, he's a better man than me. I shouldn't be a part of the mob. I, I get petty. More people in a ball game. <laughs> hey man, look at his eyebrows. Is this the dude with gladiator? State your name, please. Franklin Donjali. And where were you born? It's outside of Palermo. This witness has had no buck between himself and Michael Corleone. Did you serve Peter Clemenza and DeVito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I, uh, I never knew no Godfather. Shut the f up. Here and now, under oath, were you at any time a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. I was in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago, that's all. Shut the f up! Look, the FBI guys, they promised me a deal. So I, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael, because that's what they wanted. So I said, uh, yeah, sure. Would you kindly identify for the committee the gentleman sitting to your left? His name is Vincenzo Pintan. Will he come forward and be sworn, sir? <coughs> sir, this man does not understand English. He's not under subpoena, and his reputation in his own country is impeccable. Shut the f up. This is glorious. The witness is excused. Shut up, sir. This is f***ing amazing. This committee owes an apology. Apology, Senator. Hey, that 
keys of Ace, of Ace of Spades in his back pocket. Like, pow! Michael? God, I can't stand this bitch. Michael, I'm not going back to Nevada. I brought the children to say goodbye to you. No, no, I'm not going to stay long. I can't. This is why I can't stand her. What really happened was Pentangeli, Michael. His brother came and helped him. I didn't even know he had a brother. It ain't none of your business, bitch. My God, look what's happened to our son, Michael. Do don't I... tell me nothing. Anthony's fine. Now. Anthony is not fine. I don't want to hear about it. Over! So y'all, y'all gotta agree with me. Y'all know Ogre wasn't dead. This wouldn't happen. She wasn't built for this life. At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. I never thought that would ever happen. Hey man, just tell her the truth. I'm saying the only reason why you're here is because my real girl died. She got killed. You know what I'm saying? The franchise player got injured. That's why you in the game. Shut up. I can't stand it. Her and the um the blonde haired chick from the Indiana Jones movie, Temple of Doom, made me on my nerves. As a mother, she has a point though. I will say that. She need to worry about her kids, but she told my nerves. I know you blame me for losing the baby. I know what that meant to you. And you'll forget about this miscarriage. And we'll have another child. And we'll go on. I don't know. You can just forget about Miss Church. <laughs> oh, Michael. I, like, Michael, I started out on your side, but you run, you just say some sh It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. Oh! An abortion, Michael. Just like our marriage is an abortion. Oh, you stank, bitch! I wouldn't bring another one of your sons into this world. It was a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. There would be no way, Michael, you could ever forgive me. Not with this Sicilian thing that's been going on for 2,000 years. Oh. I will. You won't take my children! I mean, he slapped the shit out of her. All right, so I got mixed feelings about that whole situation because it was her right to have the abortion, but I have been on the receiving end of your girl telling you she had a miscarriage, and then months later you find out, or in his case, maybe it might be years, a year later or so, but you find out that in anger, she had an abortion. His case is different than mine. My case, her mom got mad at me and threw a receipt at me and told me they didn't want no babies in the family. His case is different. So, she owned my nerves, but she had her rights. But she should have told him instead of just sneak attacking him. And he shouldn't have slapped her. I don't I don't agree with that at all. But with that being said, he sla he slapped her with the strength of God. Yeah. Oh, that mean Tom lied to him. That's worse than her lying to him. Oh man. Hey, he said he would come back. Hey, they did say it. he would come back. But I feel him though. He shot his mama. I know he I know he had his dad killed and he killed his brother too, but still, you know what I'm saying? Mama different level. You killed my mama. I'm killing your bloodline. I'm killing distant cousins and everything. Si vous si mi vuole fare l'onore, ci volesse far a conoscere. Si chiama Vito Corleone. Oh, Vito got a long game. He got the long game plan. 
Ti ho chiesto un nome di questo paese, ah? Eh? Il padre si chiama Antonio Andolini. E chi sto è pazzito? And my man basically gutted him. Hey, he said at the beginning of the movie, he gonna come back. I forgot about him, honestly. Oh, shut the f up. What Michael gonna do when he see him? Can I speak with you for a second time? I wanna speak to him. Down with Mike. Waiting for you to leave. Can I talk with him? Sorry, Fredo, no chance. Can I see him? Yeah, he's in the boathouse. Connie's ass must want some. I like to stay close to home now if it's all right. Is Kay coming? Oh. Damn, she didn't show up to set up for him. Michael Fredo's in the house with Mama. He asked for you, and Tom said. You wouldn't see him. Michael, I hated you for so many years. They all hated him. I think that I did things to myself to hurt myself so that you'd know and I could hurt you. That is the stupidest plan. Can't you forgive Fredo? He's so sweet and helpless without you. Fredo. You lucky I'm talking to you. You ain't done your kids. I don't hold grudges, but I don't forget. He had a job. I don't give a f kill. Man, I guess it's good if he gave his brother. I couldn't have done it. You told me you hated me and you about got me killed. Our friend and business partner, Hyman Roth, is in the news. Except for a return to the United States. That plane goes to Miami. That's right. That's where I want it met. Mike, that's impossible. If history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. My history class taught me a little different. You're going to come along with me in these things I have to do or what? Because if not, you can take your wife, your family, and your mistress, move them all to Las Vegas. That's yeah, up. Why do you hurt me, Michael? I've always been loyal to you. I mean, what is this? I learned uh, to style. See, your style. Fred. Now, what is it that you want me to do? Hey, Anthony. What, what, do he, what do he want him to do? So what do he want Tom to do? He's going to see, uh, what's his name, Palooza, Palazzi? Can't say, y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't say his name. It's going to be okay, Frankie. Don't worry. Did my brother go back? Yeah. Motherfucker, his brother in turn this straight switch. You were around the old timers who dreamed up how the family should be organized. I told y'all earlier he was sloppy. That was a good break. Nice deal. Hey, uh, they went home and sat in the hot bath. Opened up their veins, and sometimes they had a little party before they did it. So is this the party? Yeah. So is this the party? Are they? Was he like trying to tell them like you killed yourself? It's hard to believe that's really Adrian. Hey, will you please hurry? He's coming. Anthony, kiss Mama goodbye. That's funny. Anthony didn't want to kiss his mom. Oh, please, kiss me once. He's like, nah, I'm good. I mean, he got that stare to where you don't know what he's thinking, but it's just, it just feels evil at all times. Like, look how you're looking at him. Whoa! My man didn't say hi to her. He didn't say you look good. 
<laughs> he shut the door down in her face. And the little boy still didn't give her a kiss. Anthony! Anthony! Michael wants to take him to Reno now! Oh, shit. Come on, Anthony. I'll take you fishing again tomorrow, okay? Huh? Yes. Oh, no. That's a setup. Oh, that's a setup. That's why they got the little boy out of there. That's a setup. Watch me be completely wrong. <laughs> I'm just talking what I, what I would do. Hey, Frankie, come on out. Let's play some hearts. He's in a hot bath, ain't he? I'm a retired investor living on a pension. I came home to vote in the presidential election because they wouldn't give me an absentee ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't even worry about catching one. You about to be swimming with him. Hey, he's all about tired on those lens. Hey, everybody, come on, pay attention. It's my friend Carl Riz. It's my brother Fred. Oh, you know for sure, don't you? Hey, that's f me. I'm saying him. Hey, Sally, get in here. I'm scared. Come on. Snake. I know he did, but he died the last movie, but I've still got beef with him. Look at how many of them gone. Michael killed three of them. Your country ain't your blood, you remember that. I don't feel that way. Well, if you don't feel like that, why don't you just quit college and go to go to join the army? I did. Shut the up. That's how they found out. Hey, come on, come on, I'm not gonna walk. Come on, come on, hey. Come on, Daddy, fighting again. Again, again. They just used to. Did we get some video again? Yes, well, Mike. Congratulations. Oh, that's right, encourage. Now, many times, he and I have talked about your future. Talk to my father about my future. You're really stupid. He's here, come on. Bro, do we get to see him? Stupid. Hey, do we get to see Vito? Huh. It was a long day. He's alone now. It's funny. He's the one most like his dad. But then it wouldn't have nothing to do with none of that. That shit's f***ing beautiful. I don't give a f***. All right, so I just got finished watching The Godfather 2. I have to say, it's just as amazing. It's just as amazing as the first one. From acting, music, camera shots. I mean, everything is just as beautiful as the first one. The only thing I'm sad about is I really thought we was gonna see Vito at the end. You know what I'm saying? I just I thought we might see him. This it'd have been nice to see him. It's crazy how Michael has so much under control. He has so many plans on top of plans. He always got an ace in the hole, but it's still so much chaos and like collateral damage he can't control. And it's crazy. Because I mean I don't I don't know if other people feel this way about this movie, but I feel like this movie is a prime example of this goes to show you that no matter how good you are to people, especially your own family, or people that you even treat it like family, that they still can feel some type of way about you and try to set you up for failure. Cause like Connie was mad at him. Oh, Fredo, who's mad that his little brother is taking care of him because that's what his dad wanted. You got everything you want. Yeah, they tell you to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the pecking order. But you can show multiple times you're not strong enough. 
smart enough or have the capability to run anything. Shut up and know your position. Like, you got to get the people out of your life. I'm telling you. I don't care how much you love them. Get them out of your life. <laughs> yeah, this is an amazing movie, man. In a sense, I feel bad for Kate in the situation. I can't stand her, but I still feel bad for her. And I can't even elaborate how on why I feel bad for her, but I feel bad for her. I honestly feel bad for Michael, too. You know, in a sense, that man is, really is truly alone. Hey, this is a great movie. And I mean, and I know a lot of y'all probably sitting there listening to me say this, like, of course, because you know what I'm saying? Y'all have seen it a long time ago, a thousand times since, you know, but this is just sitting on it. It's crazy that the same dude made two back to back work of arts like that. And I love, I love seeing Vito's journey. Young Vito, the Nero killed that part. A man never hit him with the, I'm going to make him offer Kate refuse. Like, come on, man. Everything in it come full circle. And it was nice seeing everybody at the table at the end. I, I just wish we could solve Vito. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me. I enjoyed watching with y'all. If y'all didn't do it for me earlier, do it for me now. Hit that like, subscribe. I don't forget that bell notification. Don't forget the link in the description. Head over to the Patreon. Got our full left movies, exclusive uploads for t uh, movies and TV shows. Has the Friday polls over there. We have a great community all around. Really, the great family. I I'm telling you, I feel like I know some of y'all personally now. I'm taking the dogs out, and I got some movies to return. But y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.